100% on our level of awareness and our level of consciousness throughout the next 30 days. Do not find places of fear. Do not find places of worry. Sit down, write out all the things you want to let go of, the things that you've struggled with. Focus on the solutions and moving towards them. Visualizing the solutions and stay goal-oriented. And above everything, stay positive. Put down the disinformation. Put down the naysayers. Don't let them have any place in your consciousness. Because those people seek to control you. They seek to control your fear and seek to put you in a place where you can't make a proper reaction. And that is the most important thing that's going to take place. Get if, up nature. Exactly. Um, if people feel so inclined to do so, the best way that you could help this video effort is to get onto YouTube and do a video response to, the, to this video. Say your opinions. Good or bad, I don't care. But here's what I know about the disinformation system. They don't have a face. They don't have a face. They don't have a name. They don't want to get on camera and say their piece. They want to do it from a place of anonymity and a place of convenience. Mm -hmm. Because really, they're only investing in their paychecks. They don't want to invest their reputations. If you want to help, if you want to see these changes take place, get online. Email this. Out. Email this to your family, your friends, your entire contact list, and do a video response. Put your face on the internet that says, you know what? I want these changes. I want to see something happen. I want a more positive world, and I don't want the people that are making us all afraid to be in charge anymore. I want new people to be in charge. I think it's safe to say that most of the people that are in charge of the world right now will not have the capacity to be in charge anymore. And if you're worried about Obama taking over and being part of the New World Order, honestly, from the information that I've got, I think he's going to take power and abdicate it back to the people. Just like has been attempted many, many times in history where rulers wanted to give their power to the people and it was corrupted by the people that could overthrow that power. I don't think President Obama is very interested in being ruler of the world. Certainly he's had a tough enough go just being the president. All right. So that's uh, what we can do. Have hope. Have hope for the future. Visualize the future. Try to see it the way I see it in my head. Because right now, I'm excited. And I'm happy to see the changes finally manifesting. And that all of these paradoxes that have been created by the people seeking to keep control and seeking to keep money and power over individuals are making it so we have the path to take back control and to begin to evolve consciousness and to manifest the things that people have been talking about for months and months and months now. And I do want to take a special opportunity to say thank you to Drake. Um, it hasn't been easy for an old man that participated in war back in Vietnam and is now being attacked like never before. Uh, I know how he feels. Yeah, who may or may not be used to it on the internet and all of that kind of Right. Reality. So, special message to Drake, take heart. It's tough right now, but I got your back, and Eva's got your back, and a lot of other people do. So don't worry about the Department of Disinformation and what they say about you. And it's not going to work. And hopefully this message reaches some people who are back from war, who may or may not be experiencing post-traumatic stress, 
know that you're not alone, know that that is a very real experience to stress and trauma and that there are ways to move forward and it will take time and just when you think like you're done all of a sudden it jumps on you <laughs> and like I said you end up in fetal position in the hallway and you don't know why and it really sucks but know that you're not alone and there are people who understand and don't think you're crazy and you know we really need to get behind our troops and all the people who are experiencing post-traumatic stress and let them know that they're not alone and it's okay and it is a process and it is about the conscious and subconscious and how the mind protects um, and, and kind of slowly starts to let people re-experience things and there is a process of healing so you're not alone don't give up know that you're not crazy and that you can get through it and um, that includes depression and all of the things that aren't so fun um, that we experience as humans but you know really it's a language that we haven't necessarily been taught to understand we've been taught to suppress and be afraid so and uh, one other special message to uh, somebody who's going to know who he is when I say this uh, you said you thought that it should be you and not me doing this now's your chance buddy <laughs> step up it's time you can put your ass on the line and it won't be so hard I promise you have anything else okay. thank you everybody thank for you. watching this whole video I realize it's about an hour and a half but uh, important stuff and we will I continue to be talking uh, I will be on the radio uh, with uh, Drake and Dietra tomorrow uh, at noon Pacific time on Wolf Spirit Radio. Uh, and I will keep talking and keep answering questions and keep supporting everybody that wants to make these changes that I believe in. Oh, and I think our guests for Monday, uh, this Monday upcoming, uh, 7th? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Dean Clifford will get on to speak about uh, law and the ins and outs of uh, common law, maritime law, and international law yeah. since uh, president just signed America back up for it we might want to get a little bit more familiar with uh, how it's a good thing so yep tune in and we'll see you then bye everyone bye.